Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Nathan Nichols Be A Pro series. We're at the crossroads at the end of season one where we had to make the decision where we would go, if anywhere. Remember, we could always stay with the Lions as well as another option. But the choices were here and I let it up to you guys all to decide. And wow, what's the response I got from you all as well? Over 130 comments in about one day, 24 hours or so. That is just madness. So 99% of you all agree, all saying the very same thing. There's only one team to go to, and that is the Greatest Sydney. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Bath Rugby absolutely blew it away in the tally. Everyone said to go to Bath. Internationally, we could play for England. Uh, bigger club, bigger competition. Everything you could think of. The other choices just had nothing. So let's do it. Let's go to Bath and have a bath. Right, so we've got some stuff to play through here. We'll be having a look at our team, the competition, who starts in which positions. We'll have our first. Oh. Oh. Oh, ho, ho. we won't be looking at Bath. We won't be looking at Bath at all because we've been picked to play for England after one season. At the Lions, we sign a contract to go home to England. And look what happens. The England selectors have picked you. That's right, Nathan Nichols, to be part of the starting lineup for the upcoming Euro Nations or Six Nations, as normal people who don't give a shit about licensing say, uh, competition. Do you accept the offer? Well, I don't think we need to put this one out to a poll. Yes! We do accept the offer. We're going to be playing in the Six Nations. All right, let's go through here. And wow, straight away into international rugby. So much now. This has changed my whole plan for this episode. I was going to play out one preseason game and then, and then just, you know, uh, highlight the rest of them. But now we're playing for England and we've got the Six Nations to play through. Oh, I'm just at a loss what to do. Okay, time to reevaluate. Time to reorganize the episode. England, England, England. We are playing for England. Right, okay. Uh, let's have a look. What are we doing? It is the Six Nations. Have, have a look at the tournament. Uh, there's already a couple of matches. What's our schedule? This is a big one. Five matches. Start off with Italy. Then we go to Wales, Scotland, Ireland. And France is last. Okay, that's fine. We can deal with that. So, an easy first up game, and then there's a testy one second. Right, that's fine. Uh, the big one, though, this is the ultimate one right here. My team, my squad. All right, so what do we have in our team? This is a very, very different looking England team to what I'm used to seeing. But here we go. Of course, remember, these teams are selected each season, the, the uh, club teams. Buy and sell players, just like in a career mode as well. So don't expect everyone that's at Bath in 2015-16 to be there for season. Already a lot of players could have transferred in and out of the team. Same goes for England. Players will get selected and dropped and things will change. Look at this front row we've got here. Williams, Voitov. How is he even English? A name like that, he sounds Russian. But he's 30, so he's not going to be around forever. And then we've got Marcus Watson on the tight head side. Dave Atwood will partner George Downing, another new name, but he's 26. And, and the England team, 88 rated. Uh, a lot of these guys will be sevens players as well, which uh, is kind of unfair the way they make the game that the ratings for uh, 15s is the same as sevens. So a lot of good world-class sevens players go straight to the international 15 sides, which are a bit of a shame, but Whatever, we'll make do and carry on. Right, the back row. We've got Guy Beaumont. We've got Stefan Armitage. Oh, good stuff. Don't give a shit where they come from now, do we? We're going to pick them from France or wherever we like. Number eight is Steve Busquets. If that's how you pronounce his name properly, 80 rated. Very, very good looking player as well. Look at that Ford pack. All of them above 80 except for three, which is 76s and 78s. Oh, no. 
It's the Russian hooker who's 66. He lets the whole team down. What a shame. Voitov. Right, uh, the back line, we've got John Brake. Another new name here, 27-year-old. Uh, who? Okay, we've got George Ford. Okay, there's a name I know. There's only been one so far in Atwood. Oh, no, Beaumont Armitage as well. So George Ford, a fly half. Then we've got Sam Stanley on the left wing. Okay, got Gavin Hanson. Isn't he Welsh? Isn't Gavin Henson Welsh? Hang on. Hang on, this requires a Google. Okay, so how the hell does this happen? Gavin Henson is English all of a sudden. He's played for Wales. W what on earth is going on? I just, bleh, completely bamboozled Gavin Henson. Okay, we'll move on. We're going to have Henson in there whether we like it or not, apparently. Then we've got Guy Armitage. He's playing at outside centre. A very bizarre looking England team. Seems they'll pick anyone these days. Matt Leach on the right. Now Matt Leach, 34 years old. And he's a centre. Oh no, he plays on the wing, okay. And then we've got Nathan Nichols at fullback. What a bizarre, so bizarre England team for this competition. Ah, uh, who's on the subs? Uh, blank hit is there. Marfo. Got Slater, there's a name I know. James Haskell, another one. Dan Karma. Ben Foden. Okay, another one I know. That's good. Rocket the Goonie. Alright, so we're getting the, the names we expect now. Hopefully these guys will come into the team. But look, they're not rated as highly, are they? Nick Scott, he's there as well. But overall, there's a lot of new names in the starting 23 for England. This one just absolutely blows me away. Why? How? Who? I I just don't get it. Who made Gavin Henson English? I really don't understand. It's so bizarre. I don't even know that much about Northern Hemisphere rugby, but I still know Gavin Henson is bloody Welsh. This is absurd. But he's in the England team. Not much we can do about it now. Let's crack on with today's episode. Looks like it's gone from signing to round one of the Six Nations. England versus Italy. Let's go. Let's dig into it and see how we get on on our international debut. There are high expectations for this one as well. England go into their first opening match of the Six Nations competition at home in Twickenham. And they are up against Italy with a very bizarre looking team. However, one man in particular, we're not going to go back to that again. We've got Voitov the Russian in the middle of the front row as well. New look forward pack, almost except for the acceptance of Atwood, Beaumont and Armitage. In the back line, we haven't seen any of these guys before either. Ford, uh, who's Brake, who's Stanley, who's Leach? And many people will be saying, who the hell is Nathan Nichols? He's running on for a single debut. Can you believe it? We've made the big time. Okay, what is against us for Italy? A pretty good Italian squad, though. Look, you got the names here. you got the Castro Giovanni's, you got the Zani, you got the Rizzo, uh, the back line. Oh, there's not much going on in the back line, is there, for Italy? Messi at the back. Um, apart from that, Bernabo, I think that name sounds a bit familiar, but it's the forwards that are going to be so important here for the Italians. The back row, especially. Zani and Rizzo have to really be the key ones for the Italians. They're going to struggle otherwise, because they're up against... A pretty good looking England team when it comes to ratings, but can they perform on the big stage? This is Six Nations only game debut for Nathan Nichols. He's a star man, just signed for Bath. Now he's about to play his first cap for England. And it will be England who's kicking off as well, so we need to make sure we change all our playing stats as well, which we want to do. This stuff here, we want to go wide, high commitment fullback in the line let's do that quickly straight off the mark and Italy have the first use of the football and I really I really think we should smash these guys if we come away with a, a 7 nil win or something silly like that then I'm going to be really disappointed because we turn it over and we've got a real good chance straight away on the left side who is it I don't know his name but it's a high tackle was that Stanley I think it's a bit bizarre without the guys you'd expect to be out there you know the Johnny Mays and the likes on the left wing very bizarre, but we've conjured up a penalty now. I hope we kick for touch, you know. Okay, we're going to play properly. That's all right. 
We're going to look for points on the board. This is Six Nations Rugby. And it's George Ford who says thank you very much. 3-0 England. Off the mark we go. What a way to start for Nathan Nichols. His first ever England cap after just one season in the Curry Cup. Although this does seem like a bit of a trial. 15, Nichols is flying very high. Claims that ball and grabs one running metre. Here's Ford. Switching it wide. That's a good run too. Oh my God, another one. When the kick was away as well. Surely they'll be flirting with yellow cards if they keep this up. So this time surely we'll kick for... Okay. <laughs> I was going to say surely we'll kick for touch, but no. George Ford says I'm going to have another slot for three. This is a bad. I don't know if he's got the range though. Let's take a look. Slaps it hard. Oh, wow. He did it with ease. Absolute ease. 6 0 England. He hit that post about two thirds of the way up. Extraordinary goal kicking from George Ford. Over halfway in Twickenham. Never seen that before. So, Italy, this is going much as we would have expected, but Nathan Nichols has hardly touched the ball. Here we go. A chance. Should have maybe called for that ball, but it's all right. We persist with the... No, we don't. We, we go left now. This is good. This is a good game to get your debut in as well because there's room, there's time, there's space. Please. And we should have a lot of ball as well. There's the kick. It dribbles its way to the 22. We'll go into touch. Italian throw. But England, well and truly on top of this one. 6-0 courtesy of that man. With two penalties. He's got England off to a good start. Can we turn that over? No, we can't. So Nichols will retreat. And the kick comes in. It's going to go over and runs head and out on the full. He was in the 22. Thought we might have got away with a sneaky one there, but we haven't. It's over halfway now. England's throw, it's the Russian. What was his name? Yov, Yov Tov or something? The Russian hooker. Slips it into the front. Atwood, the man I actually know. Takes the ball in. England forwards all there at the ready. But Italy might turn this over. They do. Real chance for the Italians. What the? What on earth is going on here? Italy with opportunities. It's a oh, big break away from the dummy. Release. Still on the attack inside England's half, and there's an injury. Now, Simone Tamani, that's a pretty cool name. Looks like he's hurt himself in the lower leg. And Minto is coming on, but uh, our hooker? Isn't Minto a second rower or a back rower? I'm, I'm pretty certain he's not a, a, a front rower, that's for sure. Sit. But we, we've got some tall timber. In the front row for Italy. Now, can England turn the scrum over? Having a good stab. But no. Italy, hang on. Running at the line. The Italians switching it back to where... Oh, a big driving scrum. Well, this is turnover ball. Good work, England. Uh-oh. Nichols gets ball and player at the same time. Release. Dreadful, dreadful way to receive the ball. Ford. Fend. And away they go. England with a chance, but they butcher it a bit at the end there. It goes astray. Round the corner for... Oh, Nichols. Just a bounce. Look at that, England win the ball, only committing one player. That is glorious to watch. This time they're going to lose it though. Nichols is right there. Well, we're not going too well at all, are we? We've made about two running metres. Oh, what a step! And the Italians are in the 22. Release. Nichols has to make a try saving tackle. Italy again, pops around the corner. Turn that Release. over, England. We're in a world of trouble out here. Missed tackle from Nichols. Infield ball. 
Wow, there's numbers to burn for Italy. Nichols again just trying to tackle someone. Turn over ball. And it's kicked away. It could have gone to the right. So to chase that brilliantly. Ball sits up and returns. Where's it going? Mark taken by England. Okay, this game's kind of got a little bit... A little bit close. It's just kicked downfield. Chase. And the return. Saw that coming a mile away. Okay, we're going to run it back by south. All right, that's good work. Set it up. How about a little short side dabble here, England, eh? What do you say? Oh, Nichols, you dick. Start calling a hand comm soon if you keep that shit up. Had the overlap as well. Oh. Don't show me a replay of that. All right, so it is half time. It is only 6-0. To England. Shaky start to their Six Nations campaign, but hopefully it'll get better in the second 40. Right. Italy. Scrum feed. They switch the play back towards the scrum. Oh, just about a turnover to England. Floating with the touchline here, the Italians. Release. But still they pull it back, just outside the 22. Are they going to play something fancy? They do, down the short side. Good tackle. Maybe a turn over here? No. But they're inside England's territory, and they're really pushing hard. Release. Nichols is up in the line. He's got to make some plays. Where do I cover? That's the question. Oh, turn over ball. Now it's here for England. Oh, he's going to kick it out. I just, I kind of wanted to run. But that will be half time. I was keen for the scamper. But we haven't been given a real opportunity yet. This new look England team. It's a hit. We've got all the ball. But we're just not in the right areas of the field. 6-0 is the scoreline. Ford is the only man to score points. Two beautifully struck penalties. England are ahead by just those six points. But look at the possession. 81%. That's what England will want to see. The territory, though, is a pretty horrid for the Englishmen. Other than that, it's a pretty tight kind of game. Italy's uh, poor discipline has really given England that slender lead, but they've fought back well in the first half and making more line breaks than the English as well. Could be chance for them to do something special. How will it pan out? Hopefully. A debut win will be on the cards for Nathan Nichols. Let's see how it pans out in our second half of our opening English match. What a day. What a cap for England. Special times for Nathan Nichols, of course. English cap number one. 15 on the back. Doesn't get much better than that. The kick is coming straight down his throat. And we've lost the ball. Wow. Wow, that is horrible. That is really bad, England. Smash those rucks. Come on. We're right back where we left off, which is dreadful. Is that's a good tackle, the referee getting in the way. Numbers for England and the white jumpers, but they don't get the ball. Oh, he looked offside, but he's pummeled him. Big tackle from England there. Looked like one of the front rowers to do the job. Now they come wide. To the Italians and into touch. Great tackle. You got a say new look Italian side as well. Is this the team we're going to see from these sides the whole way? Throughout the Six Nations I'm referring to. Line out to the front. Atwood grabs it. They're going to use their back line. Oh, they do. Nichols a bit wide on that occasion. Quickly recycled ball would be just lovely. Oh, missed out. Missed me out, missed me out. No, okay, hold on. We've lost it. We have lost it again. Oh, so quickly we lose the ball. Come on, England. Not very often I cheer for you, but special circumstances call for this sort of thing. I've hardly touched the ball. I need to run 50 meters here, you know. Bunch defense. 
That's got to be a turnover. That oh, isn't a turnover. Oh, good scything run there from the Italians as well. We really need the ball. We've almost wasted half of the second half already. Release. For nothing. Have we got that? No. That's a munching tackle. Absolutely Release. destroyed him. But Italy still hang on to the ball. Goodness me, this is really getting annoying. Oh, I committed to the tackle. Cover me back, boys. Good work. We just can't get the ball at all here. I can't read the place. Ah, we got a chance. No. I'm in the line. Oh, I should, maybe shouldn't be. Okay, 60 minutes is gone. We're still only leading by six points. Good cover back throw there. Release. Why are we not throwing in the numbers? Uh oh, round the corner. Why are we not throwing in the numbers? We've got a high ruck commitment. I'm not sure. I'm in the buried at the bottom of this ruck as well, which is a bit of a concern because Italy are in. Oh, no, they're not. Oh, try saver. We're in real trouble, though. We are in real trouble. Wow. Release. Demolishing tackle. We need the ball. Okay, I think we've got it. Sad part is we're going to kick it away. Oh, my God. I don't believe that. Oh, that actually happened. Wow. That was almost luck. Now we'll kick it away again, I think. It's a chance for the Italians on the counter now. We are really playing badly in the second half. Nichols makes Please. a tackle. Yeah, he was trying to turn that over, and that's not bad. And we're again, oh! Ho, ho. But again, we're just defending and defending. Like, there's nine minutes to go. We're not even going to get the ball, let alone make any attacks. Italy are not dropping a thing. Release. We're not playing some good teams here. And they've had worse handling these Italians, and we're in trouble now. We are in trouble! Italy in the corner! Oh, it's over! Shit, no! We could lose to Italy! We could lose to Italy in the opening Six Nations game. Messina I saw that space and I just couldn't cover it in time he's coming across hit him but he had the string good try it's way out on the wing though that is the saving grace maybe to England's opening six nations matchup good work that is very good work from Messina I don't know if I can watch this. Barosi. Barosi. Pressure. Five to go. Six fives to score. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thank you, Barosi. Woo. England still in this game, but Nichols. I mean. Okay, we've got Broderick coming on for Atwood. We've got Beaumont coming off for Haskell. Oh, that's not bad changes. Scott off for Denton for Italy. And Tomasi is off for Brew. We're in some trouble, though, for Nathan Nichols because we haven't made our yards. We haven't done anything for this game. I need the ball. No! Stop kicking it! I need to make running meters. This is ridiculous. Turn over, turn over, turn over, turn over! I mean, that guy was with him for... Oh, see, look at this. We're not going to win this game. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, no. No way. No way. Get him, Ginger. Oh! Oh, we're in trouble. Shit, this isn't good. 
Oh man, Nichols has not played well. This game has been bad for Nichols. It's been bad for England. I don't know if we're going to recover this. Good tackle. Take him out. Pull the ball over. Come on, England. Loose carry. Come on, England. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, no. No. Ford. You sausage head. What on earth were you thinking? Oh, this isn't good. It's a turnover. Are we getting away with it? Oh, it's a knock on. No, it doesn't matter. It's all over. I think it's all over. I can't believe I'm stressing over England versus City. There it is. I'll celebrate the win, but I'm definitely not celebrating the performance. We dominated the first half so much. I wasn't too concerned about rushing in my running meters. As it turns out, I should have been rushing in my running meters because we just had no ball in the second half. Italy, to their credit, just about pulled it out of nowhere. Two Ford penalties have beaten uh, Messina try for Italy. I can't believe how close this game was. Should have been the thrashing. Good God, what's happening? Yeah, look at that. I think we're at 81 possession uh, to England, weren't we, at half time? And now in the second half, overall, down to 34. So you can probably say in the second half we had probably sub 20%, which is just dreadful. Italy, six line breaks. England, two. Wow. If it wasn't for those two high tackles, we were done and dusted and cooked like a goose. Nichols had no impact. Nerves in his opening uh, England cap. A bad day at the office for the young fullback. Uh, we'll be back hopefully for game two, but that wasn't any way to start it at all. What did we do? We made seven tackles. And, oh, we made the hand here, didn't we? That was a blatant knock on. That's going to stuff that one too if it was in our um, to-do list. But that's not a good match. That's not a good debut for Nathan Nichols at all. We can only hope that it won't affect us too badly. Let's take a look at the post-match. Let's see what the damage is. Okay, so <laughs> this does not look good. We have failed all except one. Wow, that's really bad. Okay, so three of them had no... Our repercussions whatsoever. So running meters, we only got seven. Then it's really bad. Ford wouldn't pass to me. No one gave me the ball. I had to chase it really and no room to beat man by for acceleration or anything like that. Really a bad, bad day. We scored no tries, no offloads, and of course we wouldn't even bother a drop goal. We didn't however succeed not conceding a penalty, so thankfully handling errors wasn't on our list. But I, I can't really believe it. Our fitness and speed has gone up 0.7. Acceleration up 0.4. Mental up 0.5. And discipline up 0.5 as well. So a bad day at the office still results in stats going up. Which is, thank God, a big wipe of the brow on that one. Okay, our, <laughs> our performance was dreadful. We made 7 running meters, 7 kicking meters, and 7 tackles. So we made as many tackles as we did running meters. That's how bad we played. We missed two tackles, which is the case of me just falling over because someone else made the tackle first. And we made that one knock-on as well. With the win bonus, we only got a 1.23. And I think we can rate that whole England team very, very similar to that after that dreadful display in our opening match. What a way. What a way to do it. We have won, though. We've won. That's the main thing. Let's move on and see what's going on with the Six Nations table. England, <laughs> that point differential, plus one. Okay, so France is at the top. Out of interest, let's have a look at the French side. Uh, not too many names we know. There is there. Michelac, Fikus in there. Wow. Wow. Okay, there's all sorts of Gatunas in there. Not too many names we know from France at all in there. 
Um, we'll see all the other sides. France we're playing last. We'll have a look at the Welsh side before we go. But Wales has played one match and they lost. They lost it by two points as well. So very, very tight games. I think that might have been against France or Ireland. Let, well, let's have a look, shall we? Uh, where's the Wales game? Yeah, Ireland beat them 15-13. So a very close start to the Six Nations. Let's have a look at our opponent's team for this next match. Uh... I don't know any of these guys for Wales at all. Oh, there's an Owen Williams. James Hook, he's back in there. Uh, really, who are all these guys? Gareth Askham's in there. Uh, we've got an Evans. Every Welsh side needs an Evans. Wow. Don't know too many of those guys, but there's a few high ratings in there. Uh, we'll look to we'll take advantage of this front row. Look at that, 49 to 60 and 64. That's all right. So has the England team changed? No. It literally hasn't. Matt Leach. Actually, no. Matt Leach is on the right. Okay, so we haven't changed anything whatsoever. But that is match number two. Of course, we have signed for Bath today, as you all said to do. So thank you for everyone who put your thoughts and comments in about where we should go. It did end up being a bit of a no-brainer, but it's always good to get the feedback. We have kicked off season number two, and we are playing for England. Well, it's England of some sorts. It's the Six Nations. We're wearing the Red Rose of England, and we have Wales coming up next after we just snuck past the Italians, and Wales is rated higher than us also, which is a bit of a concern. But I hope to see you all here for our second game of the Six Nations. But until then, thanks for watching. Thank you all for your feedback, and until next time, Take care.